welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review. Another pen on loan from the formidable Murray. This beautiful ASC Studio Yellow Pinnacle Celluloid Piston Filler. ASC stands for the Armando Simone Club, which is a family of fountain pen brands founded by Manu Calta Girone and includes Bexley, Conway Stewart, and Wall Eversharp. ASC was named in honor of Armando Simone, the founder of the OMAS brand in 1925, and the AS in OMAS. I think the OM stands for Oh My. Oh My. <laughs> no, seriously, it stands for Officina Mechanica Armando Simone, or the Mechanical Workshop of Armando Simone. Manu bought up some of the rod stock and nibs from OMAS when they went out of business in 2015 and has now resurrected the brand through a partnership with none other than Narwhal. That should prove interesting. But what we're here for today is to look at this beautiful yellow celluloid piston filler fountain pen, the perfect color for April and budding spring. So let's take a look right now. <music> I'll show the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As I mentioned earlier, ASC is the Armando Simone Club brand operated by the Pen Family. The Pen Family has a website with information on their brands, but they also operate the online pen store out of Miami, Florida called nibs.com. The ASC brand produces some relatively high-end fountain pens. Here is one of the gorgeous Arco Bronze celluloid fountain pens that can be yours for a mere $1,395 US. Oh wait, you can't. It's sold out. But you can't afford it anyway. But ASC created this studio model to be more inclusive of us bottom feeders. The studio model has some lovely celluloid pens with steel nibs priced more reasonably for the rest of us, around $200 to $220 US. Overall, the pen is medium sized, just slightly larger than a Leonardo Momento Zero and a bit smaller than a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande. But the Momento Zero and the Studio are very similar in appearance, sharing the same roller type clip and pointed end finials. Good thing they aren't Chinese. The ASC Studio is actually the very thing I've been asking Leonardo to do with the Momento Zero, make it into a piston filler. The Studio even has a section that's very similar. Not as pronounced, mind you, but very similar to the milk bottle shaped section that I love so much on the Momento Zero. From the top, we see the gold metal ASC medallion, which has a conic shape and ASC Armando Simone Club stamped into it. Then the semi-translucent yellow celluloid curves up to a gold metal cap band that has a deeply stamped Greek key pattern all the way around. The clip is a nicely springy roller type, which I really like. The end of the cap is nicely rounded, and there is a slight step down to the acrylic ink window at the top of the barrel, which is straight to about here, where it begins to taper away to another gold metal band separating the piston knob from the barrel, and the piston knob tapers down to a conical point at the end. The cap unscrews with a full one, two and a half turns on the borderline of being excessive to reveal the two-step tapering yellow celluloid section and the number six size gold-plated steel broad nib and black plastic feed. The section is very comfortable. I really do like this smooth two-step design. These cap threads are a little sharper than you'd expect, but they aren't in my grip so they actually don't bother me. Let's get a closer look at this nib. It has a really interesting Art Deco design engraving on it and the ASC logo with a B for broad. It's a nice design, but all of that engraving does trap a lot of ink, making the nib turn the color of the ink very quickly. Some people like the look of ink on the top of their nibs. Others, like me, do not. The nib and feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for maintenance or replacement. And the inside of the cap shows a small ledge milled into the celluloid that meets up with the section to seal the nib. But that ledge is very slight. And looking at it in the light from behind, that section doesn't actually meet up 
with that ledge. So I'm not sure about the sealing ability of that ledge. Even with all these cap threads, the nib does dry out between uses and needs some priming to get it going. Fortunately, that's easy enough with the piston. The cap posts securely, but not very deeply, making it a fairly long pen. Here it is posted with my Momento Zero, and you can see how much longer the ASC is. Unposted, the pen is a good length and very comfortable for long writing sessions. The pen is available for sale at the Pen Family and Nibs.com websites. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the ASC Studio in yellow pinnacle celluloid with a Leonardo Memento Zero in blue Hawaii, a Visconti Mirage Mythos Apollo in vegetal resin, a Moonman M800 in Galaxy acrylic, and a Pelican M800 piston filler in blue striped celluloid. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. These are all number six size steel nibs with the exception of the Pelican M800, which is an 18 karat gold nib. And the Leonardo Momento Zero and the Pelican M800 are the best posters of the group. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. The eagle-eyed among you might notice that this Moonman M800 actually has a Leonardo nib in it, the way I like it. And now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the ASC Studio in Yellow Pinnacle. And it has a number six size broad steel nib. Let's check the wetness. It's plenty wet. Very, very nice. And the nib is very smooth and has some, maybe you can hear it, audible feedback. And the ink today is Iroshizuku Ku. Jacku. It's a nice teal ink. And here's some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. That's the line variation. It's already a pretty broad line, so you're not going to get too much. And the nib is fairly stiff. A little bit of bounce to it, just a little bit. And this nib makes a 0 0.7 millimeter line, which makes it a western medium to broad or a Japanese broad. And for our quote, and for some reverse writing, very, very smooth in reverse and a much thinner line. So an excellent nib if you're interested in sketching. Lots of variation. It's a little bit drier, but very smooth in reverse. And some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. Nice, wet, flowing pen. So what do I like and what do I dislike about this fountain pen? Well, there's a lot to like about it. The thing I like the most about it is it's it almost identical to the size of my Momento Zero from Leonardo, which I just love writing with. It's exactly right for my hand. I love the section. I love the size. I love the way it posts. But the one thing I like on the Leonardo Momento Zero is that if it was available in a piston filler. Well, the ASC Studio provides that and at a price that's similar to the Momento Zero and in celluloid, not acrylic. And that's what's interesting about this ASC Studio is that because the celluloid is so light, that brass piston that's in there doesn't make the pen overly heavy either. It's very comfortable in the hand. That number six size, I'm guessing it's a Yovo, I'm not sure. 
but the number six size nib is very nice it's obviously been tuned before it left asc uh, so it's in really nice shape there's an ink window which is really really nice and it's just a joy to write with and there are many different celluloids available so if you appreciate the feel and the lightness of celluloid and you like the memento zero shape and size this might be the pen for you the downsides it doesn't post very deeply so i really can't write with it posted where i can with my memento zero but it's very nice and comfortable on posted the biggest bugaboo for me is the two and a half turns to get that cap off I find myself pulling to get it open before it's ready to open for me because I'm used to the Memento Zero coming off in one turn. So if ASC could make this come off in one turn, that would be a huge improvement. But other than that, it's a lovely pen and fairly well priced for what you're getting. And thanks go out to Murray for the loan of this pen for review. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification whenever a new video is published. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online pen store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis and badges and unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote. this.